Hey everybody, so today we're going to be doing a video on how to sight fish big corbina from the surf using light line surf fishing techniques. And in this video I'm able to hook up up to my personal best corbina. But before I go any further, if you haven't done so already, would really appreciate if you can subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification so you can get updates on my newest videos. I got a lot of new ones coming up in the coming weeks. But yeah, today we're sight fishing. And this is a style that's uh, pretty unique to Southern California, and uh, I'm by no means an expert, but today I want to share with you uh, some of what I've learned and, and what's worked, worked for me. And so um, in this video, I'm using a Carolina rig, and I'm using a half ounce egg sinker with a orange bead, um, a size eight mosquito hook from owner, about 18 to 20 inches of four pound leader line, and sand crabs for bait. So as I cut to the screenshot, You'll see where I've highlighted and where I spotted four Corbina. And uh, this mini structure was at low tide, maybe about eight to 12 inches deep max. And I first spotted these Corbina when I was trying to step through it so that I can cast into deeper waters. And when I stepped through it, they obviously scattered and spooked. And I came back one hour later and I was able to see that they had actually returned to their exact location. But it was surprising to me that they were choosing to pile up in such a shallow location with almost no exit path. But it's an important lesson for all of us. Don't ever underestimate how shallow these big Corbina might be hiding out. So with this next slide, the first thing I want you to see is the thick sand crab bed that's directly in front of where the Corbina are piled up. Clearly, they're waiting for the tide to roll back and bring some of those sand crabs into their area so that they can have an e easy meal. So check out this next slide. If you look closely, the darker water is where the Corbina are piled up and the area that I've marked as flat has water that barely covers my feet when the tide's rolling away. So on this cast, I cast it into the area marked structure, which is slightly deeper water, and I let the incoming tide and an extremely slow retrieve to bring my setup into the Corbina strike zone. So it's super important that you don't cast directly into where the Corbina are residing because they will get spooked and they'll scatter and most likely get lockjaw. So this Corbina that I'm about to hook up, uh, it wound up tying my personal best at 19.5 inches and most importantly it taught me the important lesson of don't ever underestimate where you think these guys might be hiding out. So I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Thanks so much for your support and tight lines. Got one, guys. Woo! Heck yeah! nicer model doesn't want to come in there you go very well might be my TV Yeah, baby. Woo! Look at this guy. It's got a perfect little lip set. Solid, solid fish. Oh! Not even my PB, guys. Tied my PB. Close to 20, but not quite. Gonna get the release on this guy. Get a little bigger. Get bigger so we can catch you next time. <laughs> 